Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, we're gonna solve a problem on my son's Jeep, and no, it's not this nasty windshield, although that is now on the radar. It's this guy. His rear view mirror has fallen off thanks to some uh, pretty nasty Florida heat. So yeah, I'm gonna fix this. So if you've never had to replace your fallen, broken rear view mirror in a, any vehicle for that matter, Maybe this video will help give you some tips and ideas. I'll show you how I do it, and uh, we'll get this thing back uh, in tip-top shape right now. First, I, I gotta clean this, it's nasty. All right, that's at least better. Um, so yeah, the rear view mirror normally hangs right here, and then you've got this little uh, power cable that does all the electronics in the mirror. And what happened is it fell from its perch uh, and was hanging, I found it hanging by this cable. So I disconnected the cable and now I'm going to uh, reaffix this to the windshield. Luckily, and in most cases, what happens is there's this little adapter plate that is used to mount it to the windshield that usually gets unglued, it's just glued to the windshield. So all we have to do is re-glue this to there and then remount our mirror. So I'll show you how I tackle this. The first thing is I'm glad we have this glue residue and most of the times you are going to have a glue residue and that's helpful for replacing and putting it in the same exact location so before we clean this off let me show you what I do all right so from the outside of the Jeep I'm just taking a piece of packing tape and laying it over that spot and then I'm going to use a magic marker a sharpie to trace around that shape that is left. So now back on the inside, you can see, or maybe you can't see, but you'll be able to see here in a second. When I remove this uh, residue, there will still be the black marker on the outside that I can just use to um, realign my little tab. So let me get a razor blade and scrape this out. Somewhere I've got a, a scraper just for stuff like this. But in the meantime, I'll just use a regular blade. And this is just old glue. Get that good and clean. This camera is kind of in the way, but Sorry about that. So now you can see I have the Sharpie marker outline of where this was now that the glue's gone. I have a frame of reference for where to realign. So now I'll clean this up really quick with some alcohol. I just use a, I think this is, what is this, 91% isopropyl alcohol. Just want to get that good and clean back there. It's a good time to clean that whole area because it never really gets clean because of the mirror in the way. So we'll just take this opportunity to get in there good. Hopefully without ripping the camera off. Okay. There we go. Now I'll let that dry and we'll be back. All right, so the rear view mirror adhesive I'm using is this 3M high bond. And yeah, so the next thing we need to do though is get that windshield bracket, the mirror bracket off of the windshield. All right, so on your fallen mirror, the back side here is where that bracket goes uh, or is that we used to attach to the windshield. Now it's in, held in place by a little 
torque stud back here on the uh, front side. So a T20 Torx driver, and you can get in there and loosen that up. <laughs> Took a little pressure to get off of there. So that's it, it's just a little flat piece that slips in and then gets locked into place with this Torx stud here. So once you get it loose, and you may have to shove it out like I did, but once you get it loose, uh, it should be good to go. And just remember... All right, look guys. So, <laughs> unfortunately, like rookie mistake, but I had a video problem. So all of the next steps I'm gonna explain to you, I actually did and recorded, except I didn't record it because my SD card was full, apparently, and there was no indication that it was full. It just stopped recording. So thanks a bunch, uh, SD card. Anyway, um, so just to catch you up to speed, I had the button removed from the back of the, um, of the rear view mirror. I cleaned the inside of the windshield, got all the residue off, alcohol wiped it down, cleaned all the residue off the button, alcoholed it down, let all of that dry. Then I used the activator, which is, this is all in the instructions uh, for the mirror bracket kit. Use the activator, put it on the button, let it dry, put it on the window, let it dry. Then, uh, and that dries for like five minutes. Then the adhesive, a single dot, boop, on the, on the windshield mirror button, and then immediately put it up onto the windshield and held it in place for one minute. And I know where to put it because of that little piece of tape with the Sharpie marker. So uh, just remember there is a wide side and a narrow side to that. And so just make sure you know, in my case, the wide side points out, the narrow side points in. So it's got like a little, a little groove, uh, which the rear view mirror will slip onto. So uh, just make sure you have that right. And then your orientation should already be uh, there from your your sharpie marker so you know exactly you know how to put it up you know so it doesn't go upside down i'm sorry i'm super pissed right now like it's been a long time since i've done a video that involved a lot of start stop camera changes close-ups and i did all that for every step the scraping and cleaning the 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 application on both the dot and the window then the um the uh, actual adhesive uh, application holding it up there all kinds of commentary and it's all gone so anyway sorry you missed it hopefully this video is still relevant and helpful i think the big takeaway out of this is though that piece of tape uh to help mark where your original spot was so that once you get everything cleaned up you don't have to worry about remembering exactly where to put that rear view mirror button so anyway uh the thing has been sitting here for over 15 minutes now uh it's been 15 minutes of me fuming trying to figure out what happened to my footage uh, but I know it's <laughs> time is up, so I can remove that tape now uh, that was marking my place, and then we will continue this process, hopefully, on video, actually, this time. Yeah, I'm super pissed. I'm sorry. I guess I'm, I'm getting complacent in my lack of regular video production. And so as you saw, the window's now nice and clean now that I removed this tape. And the, the trick to the tape is to fold the ends over so it's easy to remove. So I have a piece of paper on one side and then I just fold it over the other side. Um, but yeah, there's my, my mark for my, there you go, you can see it now, for where my rear view mirror went. And now that that's gone, I just have the button up there so we can hang the mirror. All right, so I personally find it easy to plug in the wires Plug in my dash camera real quick before I forget. Of the mirror with it separate from the window. Just because it's easier to reach and see. There we go, got that plugged in. You just gotta find that groove. There it is. All right, and then once you have that, you can rotate the mirror, sort of get it 
up and out of the way. Make sure it's pulled all the way down onto that button. And then you can go in and snug up that Torx and then adjust your mirror. And there we go. Rear view mirror replaced. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, again, sorry about the snafu. Again, that's a rookie error. That's on me. That just means I need to spend more time making videos because apparently I'm getting rusty in my old age. But hey, we got a brand new, okay, not brand new. We have an old <laughs> mirror back on the windshield with brand new adhesive. And, uh, and my son even got a clean windshield out of the deal. So hey, thumbs up for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.